All right, so here we have ulexite, uh, which is one of our borate minerals, and actually it is not on your mineral list. Um, but this is a really uh, important mineral for identification purposes because it kind of showcases a lot of things that we don't commonly see when we're thinking about identification. Um, the first thing I think of when I see ulexite is the silky luster. So we have this really pretty, um, silky, almost pearly luster to it. And we've discussed this before, but that's because the crystal growth is fibrous and fibrous in one direction here. And so it's all of these tiny little fibers growing together in essentially like an aggregate. And that's why we have this kind of pearly luster because that light is being constantly reflected inside of the sample across all those grains there. Another dead giveaway with Ulexite is the color. I personally have never seen it um, any other color than this pearly white. Um, and a fun diagnostic property is that this, when you're in mineral shops or rock shops, is the uh, TV mineral. So let's give it a go and see if we can look down here and see that reflection. Minerals, how fun. And so what's actually happening here is that this is a essentially fiber optic property where since all of these are these tiny thin little minerals, they're transmitting what we're seeing from the bottom through to the top of the mineral surface here. Really cool um, example of an optical property of this. So the color is white. We've talked about the luster. The streak should also be white. I mean, it would be quite surprising if this produced any color, right? But we'll give it a go just to see. Very white, nice. And now the hardness of this is also highly variable because of that fibrous structure. And so I've got a couple samples here that I'll use because these are a little bit more broken up. Um, but so we have two different hardnesses. One will be the hardness that we have on the side here, which you can already tell might be very soft because um, it's already powderizing a little bit, versus the top part here will be a lot harder. So we'll give this one a go and see. I'm gonna tell you right now it's quite soft. So I made a nice line here, but if I try on the top, it is much harder to make that same kind of line. Now this hardness on this one is not as variable as some minerals that we'll see in the um, class later that have this function where one orientation is harder than the other, um, but this helps me to diagnose it a little bit as well. Very, yeah very easy to see. What else do we have on here? Cleavage. So the cleavage planes and also that same kind of fiber structure are really easy to see here. We have this almost step pattern right there where we see one nice plane of cleavage. Um, and now cleavage planes on this side, less nice, but we do have one good cleavage plane there at about 90 degrees. And I think this would not effervesce with HCl. The crystal form, if this does have a good crystal form, it's something that's not apparent to me. This is a triclinic mineral. So seeing this kind of tabular shape is really common. Um, one thing I will note is that it's also common for pieces of gypsum to look similar to this. And so if you're diagnosing it between that um, and gypsum, gypsum versus ulexite, look for those optical properties where you're seeing something through from the bottom to the top. Really look at that luster and that variable hardness from side to side will help you as well. For density, this is pretty low density. Um, not as low as something like sulfur, but it's certainly quite low. And let's see, we've done hardness, and uh, like I said, this is a triclinic mineral, and I think that pretty much covers everything. Ulexite, um, please watch this and pay attention to this, write notes on it, even though it's not on your list. Um, it has some really amazing diagnostic properties. And that is Ulexite.